Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today we're going to be reviewing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that's right, Shredder's Revenge. And I waited a very long time, and I'm going to be very critical of this game because I played the arcade since I was younger, I played Turtles in Time, I played even the rip-off game I call because everybody thought, based on the cover, was Ninja Turtles the arcade game and the original Nintendo, which I still loved, but it was hard as hell, which is the, you know, Ninja uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then, of course, they came with the arcade game, but it wasn't exactly like the arcade because he couldn't lift up Turtles till the Manhattan Project and Turtles 3. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's uh, see where we're at. So as you can see, they already updated it, which is weird. They updated it before the game was even released because you could download it before. And then I had an update today, even though it said the game wasn't available. So pretty freaking dope. Let's get right into this. So I'm going to show you guys the beginning. We're going to see how everything is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's like the uh, old Ninja Turtles arcade game. That's so cool. Except it's the whole cartoon. Wow, the whole song. <laughs> it's pretty dope. I think before they were limited in the arcades because you only had a certain amount of, um, you know, memory that you can uh, and storage that you can actually store. So yeah, you could pick April O'Neil and Splinter and all that, and I'm sure there's going to be a crap ton of DLC that's going to come with that. But um, really cool. But yeah, so uh, you know they didn't have that much speech in the games. They would put it a little bit here, a little bit there, whatever they could. So not like right now, as you. See. You're seeing like an entire song here. <laughs> really cool animation. Technodrome. Shredder's Revenge. Wow, that just went to pixelated in two seconds. <laughs> let's see where we got here. Options. Yeah, let's shut vibration off. Can't stand that. But um, yeah. Let me see here. Shaking effects. Wow, look at that complete season. That's insane. So you could unlock achievements, how to play. Does hold on one second. Let me see the arcade. What? That doesn't even make any sense. An arcade machine you could have unlimited continues. And technically lives too. If you add quarters, it just gives you more lives. This makes no sense. But it's just gonna be probably the same game. So you just go into the arcade mode. Gonna hit new game, chill, okay, and gnarly. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, look at that. Tutorial. Sweet. Let's just give it a little quick try here. Let's see what they got here. Sweet, I like that. What I think they should have done is, like, to make it more challenging, when these Foot Clan, when they explode, okay, like, they should make it that they could actually hurt you. I know it's probably stupid a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me but it just makes the game more challenging even though the game is challenging as hell already to begin with wow look at that that's pretty cool but it just makes it kind of more realistic but you see i love this because this kind of feels like ninja turtles the arcade game and ninja turtles turtles in time as you just saw where he throws the guy right into the into the screen which i'm hoping krang at some point we're going to get to do that move. I'm sure we will, because they wouldn't just put that in there. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's just play this. Um, so, we have Leonardo, April O'Neil, so, so far, and Splinter, and, you know, of course, all the turtles. Let's go with Leonardo. Oh, I'm so tired. Oof. Wow, that just went on reverse. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> forgetting to press the um, 
was it a button here <laughs> look at them they look funny as hell yeah let me get my other joy con here let's play this here we go wow see just like turtles in time when they show them like that Looks like Bebop. <laughs> we'll see. Was <laughs> that what Shredder doing dancing? It's like, yeah, boy. It's pretty cool, though. Look at that. Wow. I just, I don't know. I don't like vibration, so I had to shut that thing off. But look how cool. This, this thing feels pretty cool. Um, I am going to say this. I kind of, I mean, maybe because I have a 43-inch HDR, whatever, 4k monitor it's enlarging the picture so it looks very pixelated but i kind of like the way uh the arcade game actually looked because the arcade and turtles in time they stood kind of wide and it looked much better than this like i just don't like i don't know i don't like the character design in this one right here it just doesn't feel right i don't know it's pretty cool. I mean, the animations are good. Everything is good. And look, when he sits down in fetal position, when they knock him out, he looks just like they did in the arcade. But I don't know why they couldn't just do the old animation. Maybe it's a copyright thing. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. You never know. Here, let me see. Pretty cool. So they all look much chubbier. I mean, I got chubbier from when back then, so I, I guess they made it realistic. <laughs> But let's see here. Um, pretty cool. Love the shoulder tackle. Mm, yeah. Very easy to just like bash, 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 bash like that. <laughs> you know what's funny? There's not that much interactive things here that you could just like hit something towards them. I don't even see anything to be honest with you. I mean, so far it's just picking up stuff. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, you got nothing. You're just like drop kicking them and it falls on them. But like, is there anything that's interactive here? It's kind of lame. Oh, that's cool. That's what arcades actually had. If you remember the Simpsons and all that, you always had like some dude coming out, giving you a burger. <laughs> Look at this. Nothing interactive. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, there you go. I was like, where the hell is the interactive things? Like, this is crazy. Wow, that's not interactive? You gotta be kidding me. You know, in the arcade game, you had a lot of interactive things that you just, like, toss, like cones and all kinds of stuff. But I guess we're just gonna have to wait. Maybe it's coming. <laughs> that's hilarious. I have a wooden spoon just like that. Cool. Cool. Best thing to do is just use your special over and over again before getting the pizza, obviously. But uh, in this case, <laughs> what the heck is that? They're doing sit-ups. That's hilarious. I like how they could just, like, go up to the guy. Because in the arcade game, uh, in Turtles in Time, it was kind of hard. Like, you couldn't always do it. Like, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Wow, that was a stupid animation. You just knock it down. It doesn't even do anything. That's so stupid. This is a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. It is very, very addictive. I see myself, even after I beat this, playing this again and again, like I do with the, uh, was it, multiple arcade machine emulator MAME. Uh, you know, you, you play these games over and over again on emulation. It feels great because these games are literally lost. Lost forever unless, you know, this is why I'm for emulation. It's not about, you know, hacking or doing stuff like that. It's, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with everything about preserving a library that's not going to exist anymore. I would want my kids, if I ever have kids, I, I would want my children to play these games, you know. And now look at this. They come out with this game and it looks pretty freaking dope. Look at that. Not even interactive. I can't believe this. Should have made that like something you could just knock on them. I, I just don't get it. See, that's not real. Kind of give you that realistic feel anymore. Because they're going right through it. It makes no sense. <laughs> Look at a bebop. It looks dope. 
See, he looks sort of like the arcade. Well, look at that Elden Ring-like <laughs> energy bar this dude has. Well, my, dex my dexterity must be really filled up here. <laughs> I always find it funny. <clears throat> How they all just stand in the way and, like, they learn nothing. Like, what kind of artificial intelligence is this? Dimension X. I swear, some of these ideas, it's like they made them in the toilet. <laughs> Like the names for him, Dimension X. It, I love Ninja Turtles. I absolutely love it. So to me, I mean, this game is really cool. I just wish some changes would happen. But so far, I mean, look at this. No errors. Plays really well. I mean, I'm expecting it to. But we had some pixel pixelated games that have fr frame drops and errors. So I, I'm, you know, I'm not surprised by you know if it happens due to Nintendo. Oh, look at that party. Oh my god, so you could just invite people, that's so cool, and they could, online, so they could help you out in the game. Well, if you guys ever play it and I'm, I'm there, I would definitely love to play with you guys. <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> Look at him. Rocksteady. Achievement unlocked. Let's play another, another stage here. Usually I do just one stage for y'all and just... Let's do, like, another stage here. I just want to see how, uh, you know, and show you guys how Rocksteady looks like. Oh, that's definitely Rocksteady next. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, cool. We're going to be riding this? <laughs> Look, they're taking out the tire. Never mind. Oh, they're really gangster for robots. I mean, in the movie, there were people, so that made more sense, but... <laughs> the robots are... They just get me. Is that a... What is that? What kind of a pi... Oh, my God! That's not a pizza! I think that's that thing that just makes you spin around like a ballerina and kill everybody. I don't know. Yeah, oh damn, I should have used it on them. I'm an idiot. Sometimes if you jump, you get a few more seconds out of it. It's pretty cool. Sick. Hello? Hi, you put everything safe downstairs. No oh. security, though, man. Yeah, could you come down? Because we cannot go through the door. Oh, you can't get through the door? Yes. Oh, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come downstairs. Sorry about that. All right. Thank I'm, you very much. Thank you, buddy. Wow, guys. I got, like, food right now. And <laughs> coming to me. And... It, <laughs> This is all live recording here, so um, you can imagine this. So, um, give me one moment. Okay, guys, we're back. See, like, what the hell is that? Like, you see what I mean? Like, in Turtles, the arcade game, you know what would have happened right now? That thing would have slid, like, right across the floor and hit somebody. But here, it just smashes. What's the point of that again? And also, no cars that are running you over by surprise. You notice that? Look at that black, black, you know, just see-through. 
but there's like no surprises like in the arcades you would just walk and then suddenly see them driving through like <clears throat> oh damn what a waste see here you actually see them it's kind of stupid because there's no way you're gonna And it's like so funny because he doesn't even see them going through it, yet he runs over his buddies. See, that would have been cool to surprise you with a reverse. It just goes out of nowhere and boom, hits you. See, look at that. That stupid cone? Are you kidding me? It doesn't even slide, it just flips? It doesn't even hurt them. Let's see if they go. Who turned out the light? <laughs> Let's see. I want to see this. Hold on. Let me just see. Uh... Roadkill Rodney. Damn, he doesn't even talk. He doesn't even say, do not resist us. <laughs> like in the arcade game. What is this? Oh, it's like uh, Starman. <laughs> you have like 10 seconds to beat the hell out of all of them. Chameleon wins fatality. Ay, ay, ay. This looks like Chameleon when he gets that uh, Starman-like thing. Look at Bebop. How's that dude still out after we just fought? Makes no sense, but whatever. <clears throat> Wow, that didn't make sense. It just like totally hit me. <laughs> Look at him. The detailing his scar. That's hilarious. Alright, this is cool. Oh my god, Rocksteady! Oh, he does the kick too. That's nice. They're actually easier to hit here, which is funny, uh, funny because, uh, wow, he tosses bombs here. That's crazy. And here he doesn't have a machine gun like he did in uh, Turtles, the arcade game. Whoa. You know, he kind of throws grenades, sort of like in Final Fight, that dude that throws grenades, if you guys remember that game. Say your prayer, toidles. Da -da 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 -da. Here he just says, say your prayers. <laughs> it's okay, we'll take it. Like how you see him, like, blinking and stuff. That's pretty cool. Okay, you know what's kind of funny? He's a rhino. And they didn't give him the gore that he had. I mean, he always had the gore in the arcade game. Here, Bebop has it, but not Rocksteady. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he got no gore. And he's a freaking rhino. Okay, that's extremely stupid. I love how he just like... He just like points it at you. Like, Alright, let's see here. Yeah, okay, let's do another one. Let's see how the heck this thing turns out. We'll just see how the how it looks. Sorry, I'm getting like they're doing the yard here. I live in an apartment but in a complex, so there's like they're That's where that noise is coming from, if you could hear it. I like how it's like Turtles uh one from Nintendo. You see that van going around everywhere. Whoa, this is cool. Wait, we get the no, that's their car. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, they all got fatter. Uh, look how stupid that is. That doesn't even make any sense. The cone follows you as it's on the floor. Should have just made it go like out of the screen when you hit it and make it an interactive thing you could use as a weapon. This is kind of stupid. Damn, that was horrible. All right. Took some major hits here.
How did he... Yeah, whatever. Good. I love this. Like, Turtles the Arcade game, you know? Pretty much. Alright. Let's see what the heck we got. Whoa. Ugh. Okay, you can't jump kick it. I love how, like, when you jump, the, the hoverboard kind of flips with you. You notice that? That's pretty cool animation right there. Come on. Yeah, good. I don't want that idiot coming back. And <laughs> they hit you with a wrench. It's so funny. They're like a cockpit group. <laughs> They're like repairing cars, detailing them. What oh, damn, I missed that. This looks like that bridge where uh, in The Simpsons he battles. Uh, you battle like the boss, the first boss. The one, like, you find the bowling ball and hit him with it. <laughs> bowling ball in a bowling ball bag or whatever. Come on, man. You gotta follow the shadow. It's just like in the, the arcade game. <laughs> They're kind of harder here. Because in the arcade, it was really easy when they were, like, machine gunning you. Ah, oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Jump kick. There you go. I hate it when, ugh. oh, there you go. It's kind of corny that they warn you it's coming. I'd rather it not, then it's more challenging. You gotta be kidding me now with these freaks. that damn pizza <laughs> I love how they laugh and Rocksteady shows his stomach his belly button it's hilarious <laughs> he's like laughing and then he, go, he goes in it's like Bigfoot the, the truck I'm talking about youch I gotta say, they look more cruel than they did in the other arcade. Surprised they didn't. <sighs> Let me see here. Damn, it's kind of hard to hit it without getting hit. Come on, that's such nonsense. <laughs> I 
Love that. All right, we're just going to see what the next stage is, and that's it. We're, we're not going to go through it. So I'm curious to see what the next stage is going to look like. I love the loading time. We see, like, the actual, like, little turtle. You know what I got to do? I got to 3D print me a shredder helmet. I think that would be dope. Can't wait to see the next level. Just want to see what the heck that's like. Yeah, you could change characters. That's cool. Like halfway, like I guess through a stage. What is that? Two players? Sweet. What? Are you kid? Oh man. All right. Well, let's get right into it. So, what do I think of this game? I mean, as you saw, it already had an error. It kicked me out, which kind of sucks because it already had an update before the game was even playable. Okay, so that was kind of weird that they did that. Now, another thing is. I wish there were more things that were interactive like they had in the arcade game, but you kind of get a little bit of the of Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, Turtles in Time, and a bunch of other things mixed together. The animations are pretty cool. I do wish that they looked more like in a Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, and, and Turtles in Time, where they're standing really wide and they look much better. I think this looks very sprite-ish, but it looks very... I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't look like I would want it to be like it doesn't really feel like an arcade game and then the arcade uh option which has limited lives and limited continues which makes like zero sense if anything arcade should have unlimited continues as you're always playing it in the arcade you're putting in new you know different quarters you know the uh, other <laughs> different quarters. yeah uh you know more quarters and stuff and you you could keep playing like if you're playing it on a main uh you know multi arcade game uh, emulation wait yeah, right? M uh, multi arcade machine emulation, something like that, whatever. I always loved playing these games on it, and I actually had the original arcade that I bought it used before it croaked and pinball machines and you name it back in the day. Uh, it was really cool to play those games in the arcade. I really would have loved to see Turtles the Arcade game, the actual arcade, playable on this. Uh, you know, if they could have like a homage or homage or whatever the heck you pronounce it as. as <laughs> Uh, where you could actually play this. I do love the fact that you can have a party. You can play it all together and, you know, just welcome people from online, you know, just play it all together. Uh, that's pretty cool. The game itself is a ton of fun. Okay, ton of fun. I don't know why Rocksteady didn't have a gore and Bebop did, which makes zero sense to me, but whatever. <laughs> Um, it was still a lot of fun to play. I really enjoyed playing it and I was addicted. I was just going to do one stage for y'all and I was like going through three stages and it would have been a fourth one if it didn't kick me out. So in, a, in, a, in many ways, they made the, uh, this review a lot shorter than I, well, I wanted it shorter, whatever. The point is I'm going to give this like an eight out of 10. I do believe there's, you know, errors in it that needs to be worked on. Um, the playability, the animation, everything looks you know, it's it's great. It plays really, really well. No kind of errors whatsoever except that thing where it kicked me out. Uh, everything plays well. No frame skips. No nothing like that. At least not yet in the three stages that we played. It It is very nostalgic. You see a lot of these characters. They look like... I mean, even the Foot Clan was running kind of like they're dragging themselves like they did in the arcade. I thought it was really cool. I think it's really awesome. I could see myself playing this over and over again. Now, to be honest, I'm going to say on a 4K monitor, which most of us have today, or a giant HD monitor, uh, it's going to look very, very um, pixelated. It didn't look good on my 43-inch 4K monitor because obviously it takes a uh, uh, HD image and grows it or whatever makes it bigger. So I'm not going to say that's the best thing for that. But in handheld this thing shines, guys. These are one of the games that you need to get for handheld mode. You're going to absolutely love it. Really dig it and think it's the best game you've played in a while. Uh, especially to us uh, Ninja Turtles fans. Uh, you see how they play it in the beginning. It was like the arcade game, but except they, the whole music is there. You could select different characters. I'm sure there's going to be unlockables and DLCs coming up soon. The thing is, this game is a lot of fun, and it's cheap. So it's really worth it. It was on sale when I got it, you know, in the beginning. 
uh probably still is it's a lot of fun this game definitely a must-have i'm giving it an 8 out of 10 because there are errors that needs to be corrected and i think in day one to release an update and still have an error that it kicks you out is just not acceptable in 2022 i'm sorry but it isn't uh another thing is i would have loved to see more interactive things where you you saw like they had the cones in the original ninja turtles arcade game that you hit a cone it slides across and hits them this thing just flops around. It doesn't make any sense. And there's not that many things that are interactive. Just very few that makes you feel like, you know, hey, I, I got a little bit of the arcade there. And, uh, you know, but it, it has a lot of work, uh, a lot of work to do. So I'm, I'm just deducting two points out of that. But guys, really... I highly recommend it. As always, guys, this is a self-funded channel. I'm not a paid-for reviewer who tells you to get games and doesn't get it himself and tells you it's good just because I'm getting paid to do so. I don't get paid from this. I have three jobs to make this happen. No video game ambassador as i call it ambassadors uh but ambassador i'm not an ambassador as you guys see i bashed a lot of things in nintendo a lot of things in different tech i buy this all with my own money i work three jobs to make it happen and that's the reason i opened this channel in the first place to give people real information from real people like you and me that's why you know a lot of you guys are offering patreon and i always say Never mind, I say it again. Thank you so much, but I'd rather you guys keep that money in these uncertain times we need it. Invest in yourselves, invest in your family, all of that. You guys know how I roll. I work three jobs to make this happen. You guys are already doing enough. You know what I mean by that? Because you're commenting down below. You're part of the jury when you got the game. If you got the game, did you get it? Did you not get it? Do you agree with me? Did you not do you not agree with me? You know, based on what you see, based on all of this. You could, you know, we're helping the community together, the community at large, make better informed decisions from real information from you and I. Uh, you know, we're not bad. We're almost at 10,000, just a little bit over a year, just word of mouth. So, you know, spread it to everybody you know, guys, because it helps the, you know, and like and subscribe and hit that bell button because it helps the algorithm a ton and helps people sift through less garbage to get to the truth. So share it with everybody you know, make the family grow, comment down below. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology, you know and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.